Well, it's not for the fact that it is such a troublesome weed. And perhaps if it was somewhat less common and so taken for granted, ragwort might well be among our favourite uh, summer wildflowers. Uh, it's one of those plants that has a basal rosette of leaves that are more resistant and it has evolved a resistance to pulling by hand. Uh, it, it's, in its first year particularly it's almost impossible to pull and even in its second year when it's beginning to produce its, 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 its flowers uh, it can still be very difficult to pull cleanly unless the ground uh, is, is wet. Now you can see uh, the flowers are essentially the golden daisies. Uh, uh, ragwort belongs to a genus of daisy-like flowers. In fact, there are all of 1,250 species in the genus Senecio, which is the ragwort genus, uh, ranging in stature from trees uh, to herbs such as ragwort itself. And all of them have essentially the same pollen presentation mechanism we examined earlier in the summer uh, in oxide daisy. The plant is toxic to horses and cattle, but one of the standard control measures, one of the ways of clearing a field of ragwort is to graze it with sheep. And whatever about its toxicity uh, to large herbivores, uh, ragwort is among the top 10 wildflowers when it comes to nectar production and it supports a really wide range uh, of insects and uh, other invertebrates. Um, as many as 80 different species have been recorded feeding on, on ragwort in England. Uh, 30 of them, more or less exclusively, are uh, uh, including rare or threatened species. Uh, a total of 177 species has been recorded visiting the ragwort flowers for pollen or nectar. Among the several moth species that feed on the plant as caterpillars is the cinnabar moth which is particularly interesting for its ability to absorb and retain the toxic alkaloid chemicals from the plant to make itself distasteful to predators. Both the caterpillars and the adults sport warning colours, black and amber jerseys in the cats, cinnabar and black wings in the adults to warn off would-be predators. It's not the colour in itself that frightens predators, but the fact that these are colours identical to stinging bees and wasps. Later in the summer, the plant will produce its seeds. Uh, and a well-grown plant is capable of producing as many as 30,000 plumed fruits, uh, which can very quickly take over a field and cover it with ragwort. Apropos of which, perhaps, uh, there's a lovely old Irish fairy tale called the Field of Bolions. Bolion or Buchalon is the Irish word for ragwort. And it's a story that tells about uh, an incident in the life of one Tom Fitzpatrick who on one occasion managed to take hold of a leprechaun and persuade it to tell him where its crock of gold guineas was hidden. Under a particular ragwort, in a field of ragwort, as it happens. Uh, so Tom tied a red garter around the plant to mark its location uh, and forced the leprechaun to promise that he would never remove the garter from the plant. So when he came back with his spade, he found that sure enough, the ragwort still had its red garter attached but so did every other ragwort plant in the field. 